last Christmas, she gave him her heart the very next day he gave it away. Except this year, he's back and he's famous and a rock star. I think there's going to be tears. There's something I want to ask you, but will you join me for an eggnog, Holly? What kind of eggnog are you talking about? Better be a real eggnog, Mr. Noel. Only if you're paying after what he potentially did to us, which we still don't know about just yet, but he did something. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. What do you guys call him, by the way? Noel or Noel? Both people said in the comments, so what should we call him by? I've been calling him Noel, but I don't know. Deal. All right, in we go. So, how have you been the awkwardness? You know, we're going, we're good. We're great. We're great. We're living our best life. You know, I'm doing great. Oh, well, I'm really glad to hear it. Especially since I'm sure things were tough after your mom. I'd rather not talk about it. I understand. The, ooh, wow, this place looks exactly the same. Remember when we'd come here and you'd read your film books and I'd write my songs? I remember. We were here almost every night, and Kevin would have to kick us out. Speaking of Kevin, hey man, it's nice to see you again. Noel, good to see you too. I'm glad you and Late Nighters are still doing well. Thanks. Wait one second, I'm gonna turn on a special song just for you. What song is this gonna be? Wow, this was your first single. Hit number one on the Billboard charge. Oh, he had a number one. Turtle Doves, remember? How could I forget? The world knows us as his first hit single, but I noticed the night that Noel came to me asking for help. The night we became more than friends. Do we have a writing credit on this song? Because if we don't, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need the, I'm gonna need a little backup money. Mm -hmm. Ding dong, coming. So this was in the past. This was three years ago, so we still don't know why they broke up. Noel. Hey, Halls. What's your cute nickname for Noel? I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna call his ass Eggnog because that's what Miss Thing wants after they became more than friends. So hi, Eggnog, is something wrong? No. I mean, I just... You can tell me. You can trust me. <laughs> Let's just say that one. Whatever it is, you know you can trust me. You're right, Holly. I trust you more than anyone. She's like, thank you. So I got a call back from a record label and they want me to write and record a song. What? That's amazing. I've started writing it, but I'm having trouble finishing it. What's the song about? The song is about love at Christmas time. I wrote it for someone I've had feelings for a long time. Will you help me finish it? Not for 29 gems, I'm not. I can't right now. Okay, I'll sing it for you when it's done. I think so. Because we clearly didn't get a writing credit, so I'm not helping you. You can exit stage left. And now we were in the place where Noel debuted his first hit song. Each time I was here once again, the memories couldn't help but rush back to my brain. I'm still so grateful for all the support you gave me along the way. It's something I remember forever, Holly. I'm sorry, I can't do this. <gasps> oh, I have to go. <laughs> she really did that. And just like that, all the anger I had felt these last three years rushed in, let it in, girl. You gotta get it out. You can't hold things in or bother them up. It's bad for you. And we want to know what he did. As much as I wanted to see the boy I fell in love with all those years ago, I just couldn't. All I saw was the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. I saw his face plastered across billboards, television, and the internet. And how he wasn't there when I needed him. Holly, stop. Oh, what do you want? You seemed upset. Oh, <laughs> No, just, just, let's not. I wanted to see if you're okay. She, she's upset. We aren't dating anymore, Noel. You no longer have to consider my feelings. We're still friends. You and I are not friends. So let's have an agreement that we'll just stay away from each other while you're here. Why are you so set on avoiding each other? Are you serious? Noel, you left me when I needed you the most. So excuse me if I don't believe that you actually care. Holly, I will always care for you. Why do we have to, why do I have to pay for him? You clearly don't care, no, but we'll be nice and poor Holly. Holly waits. Y'all should get out of the road. <laughs> I know what I did was wrong, Holly. I should have never left you the way I did. I never stopped thinking about you, about us, but you left her. So... I tried calling you so many times, but I would always end up hanging up before you got the chance to answer. Is that supposed to make me feel better? I lie in bed every night drafting texts to you, but I couldn't send them. 
so you didn't hit the send button. So what did you do, No. All I wanted to do was reach out to you, but I knew it was unfair to you. I didn't want to be selfish and keep you from moving on. Hold up. I appreciate your apology. It really means a lot. Did it? Did it though? I don't buy it. I'm sorry. I think he's legitimately feels bad. And I think he wants to make amends. So from what I'm getting from this is because when her mom passed, he clearly wasn't there and left for Hollywood and dipped. <clears throat> but he didn't do anything to rectify the situation. He's saying like, I need, I wanted you to move on, but I feel like one text message sent, oops, my bad, would have been better of him just being like, look, you know, I'm so sorry. I screwed up. Move on. It's done. But just know I'm, I, I don't know. I just, I get what he was doing, but do I agree with it? Don't know. But thanks for talking to me. I just, his heart's in the right place. I just think he handled it wrong. Oh, look who came back for me. Sorry, Ames. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, Turtle Doves didn't do so good. Have fun with that. Rock stars. They make me rich, but they're also the reason I'm graying at 35. <laughs> Love how she's so open about it. Who are they? The, oh, that's the brother. And I'm assuming the father. Just like her mother. Mom was a rageaholic. They preferred the term hot-blooded. How is it possible to want to kiss and slap someone at the same time? I spent the last years trying to trick myself into hating him, but the minute our eyes locked, I felt like a lovesick teenager again. The way he chased after me. You mean the way I chased after you, Holly. Let's get that straight. Maybe he feels the same way too. Why does he have to make it so hard to resist him? I tried to push him away, but I can't lie. My heart still leaps whenever I see him. Is he texting me? Who is it? I know I still have a lot to make up for. I just hope he'll give me the chance. You know what? Applause for him. He sent the message for once. What he should have done in the first place, but it's better than ever, I suppose. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, boys, do I even care if he's texting me? Here's the tea. She has feelings for him. No matter what I may feel or what anybody may feel, I think Holly clearly has feelings for him. She still wants a sip of the eggnog, so she has feelings. And if she's happy, then we're happy. As long as he's not toxic and tries it with us, we can we can handle Mr. Noah. Let's see if he turns things around. Maybe I still have feelings for him. It was times like this I wished mom was still here. She wouldn't have just the right thing to say. I feel so sorry that, like, we don't even know the full story behind that situation either. There's my handsome boy. Morning. Well, you sure seem excited to be home. I had a rough night. He may have ran into a certain someone last night. Oh, Holly, I miss her. Mom. She never comes around anymore. Mother. And that girl. She could just light a room up like Christmas tree. I love Rita. She could. Let's be real. Yeah, you're right about that. Of course I am. Anyways, did you say got your favorite breakfast food? Donuts from Lenny's. Oh, donuts sound so good. Yes, and they are the most delicious carbs I've ever had. I'm telling you, Ames, Littleton is where happiness is created. Well, let's hop in the car and prove it to the rest of the world. Be ready in an hour. Okay, so we have our big performance going on. Where's dad? Catching up on some work, but he promises he'll be here for dinner. Because he always comes through with his promises. That's some shade. Noel, I don't have time to listen to the excuses you give him, Mom. I need to get ready. Um, okay, well, you know, we're not going to drag him. We're not going to drag him. We're just going to move on. A new day with Noel in it. Let's be realistic here. I can't believe he's back. Yeah, time to change. I'm so glad I accepted Miranda's outfits. Now I'll be ready to look good and feel good. Okay, thank goodness. We get a cho- like, Thank you, episode. Thank you. Okay, let's do Collared Cutie. I just don't know about this one, but let's... Well, no, 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 I don't... No, 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 I don't... I want to go back. I guess we're stuck. <laughs> we're in the blue one, y'all. Perfect. I really thought we could go back, but I was, I was mistaken. How's business been this morning, Roche? This is Rochelle, my best employee. She's a writer by day and kicks and a kick-ass barista by night. Busy around opening time, but it's slowed since. I've got to figure out a way to keep it up or else we might get a visit from Mrs. Underwood. Stay positive. It'll work itself out. Very true. 
You're absolutely right. Thanks, Rochelle. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. And here's Mr. Rockstar himself. All right, to your left, you'll see my high school. Oh, it's actually covered in snow, where I attended four years of math, science, and English, only to become a rock star. Didn't we all? No, well, don't discourage school in the dock. Right, right, school's great, kids. Is it? It's good for it's good for learning some things. I'm just not sure if schools necessarily teach the right subjects. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you got to get this, Ned. See the bridge. When I was told, my buddy Derek accidentally shoved me off it in the middle of winter. I broke my arm, my leg, and almost lost my toe because of the hypothermia. Life would be a little different, no? Eh, bridge looks kind of run down to me. Well, then that's it for the tour. What? <laughs> that, that's it. You showed us the grocery store, your school, a few shops uptown, and a bridge. We need more footage than that, Noel. I don't know what to tell you guys. This isn't Hollywood with entertainment at every corner. It's a small town. There isn't much to do. You're always raving about how great Littleton is. How can it be so great with so little to offer? Amy, you're living that big city life. You don't have to have lots of things to do for a town to be good. Like, that's not, you know, this place seems like it's up. And Ned, you belong in one. Bye bye Ned. And Littleton, it's not the superficial things that shine, it's the people. Anyways, we still have three weeks to film this documentary. I know you're going to love this place as much as I do by the end of it. Yeah, yeah. What's this place? Oh, is this? Oh, this is where... That's Carla's Coffee. Coffee, yes, please. Oh, I'm not ready to film there yet. That's strange. It looks like Holly hasn't decorated the inside yet. Maybe I should see what's going on. All right, should we go back to the house then? I'm actually going to make a quick stop. You two go ahead. I'll meet you back there. Holly, it's 12 days until Christmas and you still haven't decorated the inside of this place. You know, the whole town gets into full-on Christmas mode by today. I know, I've just been busy. I didn't have time to think about it. I get it. But it is also maybe because you haven't been able to do the high-up decorations ever since Noel left. Not everything is because of Noel, Miranda. No. I mean, okay, fine, that did help. Oh, and here he is. Hey, you two. Hey, Noel. So, Holly, I noticed you haven't decorated the shop yet. I like how we came in just to quickly say that. I remember we used to decorate it together every year on this exact day. That's what I was saying. We were just talking about how Holly needs help decorating. Miranda, raise your hand then. Oh, really? Yeah, Miranda was just about to help. I'll leave you two alone to figure it out. Oh. Want me to help you decorate the shop, Holly? Just like we used to back in the day. This is setting up right for a gym choice. Uh-huh. We'll hang up lights and garlands and decorate your entire counter. I'll even get some extra decorations. Customize your cafe with decor that will last the whole story. Fine, fine, you got me with the Christmas. But this is the only time I'll make an exception. You won't regret it. I think you remember I have a keen eye for design. Yeah, yeah, let's get to decorating. Let's do this. Which kind of lights do you want? To okay, wait, I want to decorate. So... I want the classic ones. No, 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 not those ones. I want to go back. Which garlands? Okay, fine. If we're going with the bright stuff, we got to go with the bright stuff. Which decor should we put on the counter? Um. Ooh, the gold. We'll go with the gold. So we'll do that one. See, it's coordination, y'all. Okay, we're over here. Thanks for helping me decorate the shop, Noel. I have to admit, it's looking very good. Anything for you, Holly? Now how about we celebrate with my signature hot cocoa? I mean, that would actually hit the spot right now. Two hot cocos coming right up. Oh, okay, so they're having a little hot cocoa date now. Things are definitely steaming up. I have to admit, this cocoa is even better than how I remembered it. Just like the good old days. Hey, remember when we would get so cold outside during the winter that when we got indoors, we would scream at the top of our lungs? We released the pain of the cold by screaming, as if it, screaming like that would magically make us warmer. Do people do that? Or is that a them thing? I need to know. Of course I remember. I kind of still do that sometimes. So do I. It's a natural reaction for me now. I'm sure other reactions are. Okay, you better cut that habit. I can't have everyone in the entire world after me if the rock star himself destroyed his vocal cords by screaming. Ha 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 ha. I really missed this. Just hanging out. Surprisingly, I enjoyed myself more than I thought I would. But you don't dare think anything of it. Oh, she's like getting the last laugh. I would never. 
Thank you for staying and decorating the shop with me, DJ. Of course, I had a lot of fun because I decorated, not no. Get that straight, Holly. I'll send you my rates for New Year's decorating. I'll send you mine. How about that? I'll catch you later to be determined. <laughs> I like how she's like, we'll see. Bye, Holly. It was cute. It's real cute. It's, you know, they're having their moments. Noel? Derek. It's good to see you, man. It's good to see you, too. Miranda and I are throwing a little Christmas party for some of our friends this Saturday. You should come. I know a certain someone will be there. Count me in. So Noel's back in town. We're having deja vu. I feel like I've entered an alternate universe. I'm just saying fate works in mysterious ways. No way once this documentary is over, no will go running back to Hollywood. And frankly, I can't wait for it. Girl, you a liar. You are a liar waiting for your Christmas miracle and it is occurring right now. I'm ready for all this noble drama to come to an end. No, you're not. Okay, you've arrived in Littleton, Colorado. <gasps> ah, not her. Why is she here? No, 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 no. You were not on Santa's nice list. You were naughty. Get out. We don't want you here. Littleton is a happy place. Not for this. Someone arrest her and get her out of here but we're going to see what happens what do you guys think of noel so far how do you think about his apology what do you think holly should do should she forgive him we gotta get a little more info actually first but what are your pre-forgive thoughts but we're gonna find out but i hope you guys enjoyed and before we get the shout outs a special shout out to izuku midoriya dreamer studios and esma hamza Thank you so much for your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. I am so sorry if I mess up anybody's names, but thank you so much. Thank you to everybody, of course. I hope everyone has had an amazing day and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much again, everyone. Bye.